Good evening, everyone. You are now going to be watching Team Fortress TV channel number two, where it's going to be Hell's Kitchen versus ALMAO Terror Squad. Dylan, you want to take it away? All right. Going into this match, I'm excited to see what ALMAO Terror Squad can do. Because, I mean, their score... Definitely hasn't been the greatest so far this season, especially compared to Hell's Kitchen, but they still have chances to, to you know, definitely outshine some other teams, maybe impress us. So I'm excited to see this. Hopefully we can get some very good action, and uh, I'm glad to see Alec back. I was a big fan of Alec when he used to play, so. Oh, I know what you mean. I always loved watching him, and God, he can be really funny at times, too. He... He always goes through this like weird transition of getting like really mad and then going to like this happy <laughs> troll state, and it's so funny. Yeah, Alec definitely is a fun guy to watch and on stream and in person. But uh, that being said, going into this match, obviously no fan favorites, no caster favorites. Got to make your pick. We're going through votes again. I want to know, Camaglia, who's winning this? What's the score? Um, I'm going to go with 5-1 to one for Hell's Kitchen. They've been doing really well on process and all of their scrims, and I think overall they're going to be a stronger team on most maps anyway than uh, uh, ALMAO Terror Squad. That being said, though, I am really excited to see Ambru and playing an invite this season. Yeah, that's a... I think that's a fair guess. As much as I do love an underdog story, I think I'm going to have to give this one to Hell's Kitchen. They have a lot more experienced players. Definitely a lot more invite experience. And as I say that, we're actually going live real nice and quick. So I'm just going to get a quick action in. I'm going with 5-2 for Hell's Kitchen. I think Happy Bob will be able to come up with some new strategies to take out Hell's Kitchen during the game. And as I say that, we're going to see the green text match is live, and we're going to be going into the first mid. I'm going to be spectating Chunky. I'm going to be spectating Ambroon. All right, that's what I like to hear. Chunky going to be missing the ramp slide a little bit. Uh, going the same side as Amber does, it looks like Soldier going to be rolling out quickly up top. Hell's Kitchen quick taking high ground, actually, as we see a big bomb from the Soldier landing on their medic. Another Soldier bombing onto Daffodil as he gets piped from over middle. This is going awful for Hell's Kitchen, but as I say that, they're finding the frags they need to be. And this has turned into a 3v3, but oh no. Happy yeah, Bob's Happy able Bob to find other players. Late. It's very weird. I was actually not expecting ALMEO Terror Squad to actually give up that ground to uh, Hell's Kitchen so quickly. And then they come back in and still actually end up winning this mid. But at what cost? Yeah, that was looking really good for Happy Bob's team as they were able to find Daffodil as the very first pick very quickly into the mid. But then ended up losing a lot of players right after almost losing the mid but they're able to clutch it up and get the final kills and they got mid now we're gonna be on even ubers and uh hell's kitchen gonna be on two pete and spawn checking if they have any off classes on spy but to no prevail and we're just gonna be watching happy get some buffs and sack a player through uh yes Ambrew setting up the trap that always got me when i was playing an open <laughs> right inside sewer and I'd always peek one of those doors and a demo would always dead on me regardless of which door it was it even if they couldn't see it Yeah, not many people trap that really anymore a lot of people will just trap the choke But as I say that ends up that happy tries pushing the flank with their pocket and roamer But ended up losing him and the other soldier goes down too and now happy boys or not even happy boys Sorry, in the mouth terror squad gonna be down two soldiers and Hell's Kitchen, they're just walking it through Choke, Happy Boys, or I keep saying Happy Boys. Alamo Terror Squad, gonna take the Uber Exchange against Hell's Kitchen, but will not get anything of it other than an exchange. Ambroom getting really low in the Choke as a soldier jumps on him and a scout pressures him, but he's somehow making it out. Happy Bob goes really low and will end up dying. Oh man, that's really, really unfortunate for, uh... Uh, we're just gonna call him happy because I don't want to say yeah. that name so often. 
Um, but it's really unfortunate because they all got like really, really spread out there, got really disorganized, and it was like pure chaos as we could see from how they were actually all behaving. They all did like really good damage, but it was all to completely separate players for Hell's Kitchen, so none of them went down for it, or maybe they lost one person. Yeah, that was <coughs> very unfortunate for the team because they're going to be losing their medic, but that during that exchange, Daffoda was able to live, and now we're going to be seeing them trying to go into last. They take Sandlass and Chunky in. There is a gun, but Chunky should be able to deal with that very quickly. Sandlass on point will get a little bit of cap, but Ambrun has it sticked off and will not let that happen, and it just looks like Hell's Kitchen playing this passively, trying to get the picks, but they lose three in quick succession. And it's only down to 3 up for Hell's Kitchen, and they're all being pressured. They get caught, and Chunky goes down. Scout's still in, trying to go for a last minute play, but too low to find anything. Happy Bob, able to live through that scenario, has full Uber, but Daffodil also got out, and so Hell's Kitchen still has a little bit of Uber left, but definitely not enough to save himself if Happy Bob uses this Uber correctly. Yeah, this Happy team played that last point really well. Uh, None of them really ran away from the situation, but they were all in really good position to not really get take a lot of damage during the early part of that Uber. And we saw some really great work between the two soldiers actually from both teams fighting on that uh, same side and ended up going in favor of Happy. Tojo is way behind them though, distracting oh, no. so many players. Uh, yeah. Still goes down, but I mean, he got what he wanted out of that. And now Happy basically has to give up this mid. Yeah, Happy taking advantage of Uber into mid, and looks like they didn't get anything of it except for the mid, but then Happy Bob dies to a stick trap on middle, and Tojo goes behind while Happy is forced to chase him behind. Can't get anything, and now they got a sniper in sewer, Hell's Kitchen does, and a big Uber head, so they're going to be walking through while also getting their sniper. A bunch of ground, he finds one pick onto Alexandros already, that's Sandblast on sniper, and... Happy don't even want to contest second. They are not trying to go for anything here. They already have Alec on NG. He's going to be building a gun. So Hell's Kitchen still with Big Uberad. Going to be coming through one as it looks like Happy is forced into spawn. There's so many players in the spawn. All stuck at the left spawn door. The gun though is still alive for Happy. And Chunky looks like he can't get onto it. But as I say that, he finds Happy Bob somehow. Gun still up. And Sandblast yeah, yeah. looks like he's just going to be trying to here. find a few picks. He is Gets keeping that gun alive. Oh, the gun it finally finds goes down. But, oh, no. That looked like it could have went well for Happy Boys. I mean, they had the gun up for a long time. It's just an unlucky pipe caught onto Happy Bob, and Happy ended up with no heals. Had to constantly go back for resub, and Hell's Kitchen was able to just continue to slowly take the fight as they had heals. All right, I'm going to be watching uh, Team Happy scouts going into this mid. A soldier was quick onto Ambrun, that was Tojo, dropped Ambrun down to 20 HP. I'm gonna be watching Tojo as he walks across point, he's looking to bomb here, he goes deep, gets denied by both scouts, won't be able to get anything, he's just gonna try to go behind, but Sandblast finds light, so that's a pick up for Hell's Kitchen, and it looks like they're actually finding even more picks, and it's only three left for Happy, they're all the way back at choke, they have to leave. Yeah, they're and... in the wrong choke though, they're completely caught oh, in here. Yeah, soldier jumps in onto Happy Bob, we'll go back into IP will not be able to find anything. I don't know. If I was them, I would have just ran into him and just died there because there was no way they were going to get out of that situation. We have secured the control point. Yeah, and actually, as I was casting, I watched a soldier jump the medic there. My game actually crashed, so Kamanga, you're going to have to continue this one while I quickly rejoin. All right. Hell's Kitchen is actually pushing into the second right now. Uh, they only have uh, their... Well, nope. They actually have a lot of people stacking the point. And now they're actually going to try to do a push through one here with Sandblast and Trip. Uh, they have not popped Uber yet. They don't seem to be aware that there's already a level 3. Alec with these level 3s, he's really pulling it out for, for his team here. But it still goes down pretty quickly anyway. But the Uber's already fading. Will Happy be able to actually salvage this? Uh, it does not appear to be so. Happy was just too far away from that last point. All right, thank you so much. I'm back in the server now, and I'm ready for this mid. It's already 2-0 for Hell's Kitchen. Hopefully, we can see a bit more, a bit more of vengeance on Happy. I mean, they're finding picks a lot, but they just aren't able to pursue after the picks and yeah, they really end up need not to getting a lot. This high ground a bit more. Last mid, they gave it up pretty quickly, or they very lightly held it, and they never actually, at any single point in time, had two players on the high ground. 
Yeah, it looks like Happy went for a different approach. They did hold them up top for quite some time, but a soldier bombing onto Amber was able to kill him, and so they didn't have a demo to spin up top, and that's huge for Hell's Kitchen in this mid. As I say that, Happy Bob going down to a random pipe oh. again. He's really just catching those. And it looks like Happy is going to wipe on this mid. Daffodil living, so that's going to be full Uber ad for Hell's Kitchen, able to go into last. Oh man, yeah, this is just like already, like, Hell's Kitchen already has this second point and completely locked out from uh, Happy. And they're just probably going to be getting ready here, and they're probably going to do the same lobby push that they have been doing. Or no, wait a minute. As I actually was about to say the same thing, Pete's on heavy right now on middle, coming all the way to second. So they're maybe going for a slower play here. They know that Alex is going to be on the NG, so they're going to try to kill the gun and just play the after round with their heavy. Hopefully not... able to get a lot of pressure here, and as the heavy will just get there, they're going to be Ubering in. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to find much with the Uber except the gun, and they're just backing out. They're trying to bait them into the heavy. The heavy peeking through three gets annihilated. The whole team was trying to spam their team out, and Trip so the them. heavy just dies. Oh, and, aware, oh no, that's awful for Hell's Kitchen. They tried to bait them into the heavy, but since they left through the same door, Pete just ends up dying. Pete oh, even they putting don't know in chat on my idea. The barrels here. They don't know. Oh, but there's a soldier on last. Maybe. Oh, just my... oh <laughs> Alexandros with the 180 rocket able to kill Sandblast. That was close. And Pete is going to be on Sniper here, hopefully to find the pick on the Happy Bob as they have full Uber advantage trying to push into middle and a pick on the Sandblast. No scouts for Hell's Kitchen right now. If a soldier's able to bomb through, Pete not taking the shot has a lot of patience looking for the medic. We'll see him. Does not hit the shot, but Happy Bob will force to that. And uh, Happy will be able to take the mid here. But it doesn't look like they'll get any picks. And now Pete. It's going to be like... up to him trying to find a pick before their team goes in with the Uber. Yeah, th I did get to mi uh, miss this, but that uh, heavy play onto that last point was a huge misplay. Uh, basically, by them having actually coming up heavy there, they handed uh, Happy the chance to actually get Uber before the push could even happen. That heavy just took way too long to get there. And it looks like we actually have Hell's Kitchen coming into mid already, getting a frag for it, but losing Sandblast. Yeah, they try to push through Sewer and have Tojo jump through IT. I saw the play there for Hell's Kitchen. They tried to have their soldiers sync up onto the door with a guy who was trying to stuff them, but that guy ended up finding a pick anyways, and so they didn't get a whole lot off that. They kept their Uber charge, which is good, but... Now Happy was able to get their Uber and now it's just going to end up into a stalemate with Pete on Sniper trying to find any picks. Process middle into second, decent to find some angles for picks but also not the greatest. I mean, IT you're not going to get much but a roamer and then sewer you can get an angle but you rarely will get more than one shot if played correctly. Oh, we see uh, Hell's Kitchen taking over sewer here but they're called early. Uh, hopefully Happy can do something not have one of them drop to the sniper here. Yeah, that was well played. Okay, nope. Hell's Kitchen is actually already backing out here. Alexandros holding close on the door, actually being able to spot their sniper very early was really well done by him, and he was able to spam them back. So Pete opting to just go choke instead of sewer, but he's being constantly pressured by Alexandros, and nobody's really oh. stopping him. But as I say that, Tojo trying to go for a fake sack ends up dying to a stick trap by Ambrun on the sewer doors, just like he mentioned, but... On the reverse side of him. <laughs> Alexandros going in for the counter sack. Tries to get oh, the sniper, Ambrun's but so won't get anything. Here. And a scout, oh, sees Ambrun alone, and Ambrun will die. Sandblast not really able to force Happy Bob, will get it out. And so, Hell's Kitchen will have a small Uber advantage, and Ambrun's still down for Happy. So, if Hell's Kitchen decides to just dry right now, there will be no demo to stop them from coming through the choke, and it looks like that's what they're going to try to do. Sandblast running in on the soldier holding close will get the pick. Ooh, Instantly traded out. Happy finding Alex all kinds of picks. Chip is actually coming in for the secondary bomb now. He picks up a frag. He gets everyone. Oh, that's huge for Trip. Hits two rockets, able to take up three players. Two very nice directs. And that'll be a wipe for Happy, actually. Only two soldiers respawning right now. Um, Daffodil did go down, so it is going to be around even Ubers, but...
Sandblast on Spy. He's looking to make that not possible, but... Uh, Looks like they... he might be called right now. Yeah, there was someone on Happy Spy checking. I'm not sure. It's Alexandros right now. Yeah, he, he's checking, but Sandblast... Okay, Sandblast will be known. He is on Spy. Actually, a soldier accidentally splashes him two times, almost kills him. I don't and know. Sandblast. I'm pretty sure they heard him cloak there. Mm, Sandblast not going to be able to get much there. Alec playing NG, making sure his team just, you know, makes it harder for Hell's Kitchen. Doing what he got to do. Sandblast opting not to go back to spawn and switch. He's just going to stay on spy. Gets bumped by the medic, but they don't notice, actually. Nope, oh. he gets found. Tojo sacks in and wait. Oh, that's no. beautiful. The medic bumps into Sandblast on Spy, and so they all turn to kill the Spy, and Tojo's able to jump in for free. Two rockets, Happy Bob, and he will go down. That's so upsetting for Happy. You gotta be really just... I mean, you just gotta be angry at that, I feel, but... That, that was so well-timed. Like, that could not have gone any better for Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, that was really well played by Tojo and Sandblast setting that up, and now... Sandblast gonna come uh, back up on Scout, able to just take the Uber at in. He's gonna take it in. The gun is close, will go down immediately. No issues with that. And Sandblast, he's getting a lot of cap time, but will immediately die to the soldier. Trip jumping in on right won't get much except just space for his team. Oh, and it looks like Hell's Kitchen here. is slowly yeah, hit. Yeah. That. Hell's Kitchen was able to slowly find the frags and get point pressure and. That was well done by Hell's Kitchen. Able to find the gun immediately with the Uber. Didn't have to waste the entire Uber on it. And that's a very quick 3-0 for Hell's Kitchen in this half. Looks like... I mean, going through that first half... I'm seeing Ambrun on mid. He's doing a lot of damage, but he's dying to soldiers a lot. He's playing very aggressive on point, and so he's getting caught out, and it's making sure that the soldiers aren't really able to play on top. But as soon as Ambrun dies, I mean, Hell's Kitchen has all the rain that they need, and they just start to collapse, and it's over for Happy. And definitely. I mean, it's definitely very hard here for Happy. I mean, they're losing mids, and Happy Bob going down. Daffodil keeps living, so... Happy Boy's definitely, or Happy is definitely going to need to pick this one up if they want to, you know, try to get take some rounds, maybe take the win. They need to make sure that Happy Bob's living during these mids and, you know, hopefully able to uh, actually win the rounds picking up with uh, the medic picks that they can find. Yeah, it definitely seemed like uh, on a lot of those mids, Amber was getting there just slightly before Chunky, but also just like going straight in pretty much and chunky being a little bit slower a little bit more methodical about it and it ends up usually uh that chunky ends up with more health than ambrun early on and ambrun since he's so much further forward he's also taking more damage uh and i think that probably has a large reason why we see ambrun constantly dying at the early game of mids uh otherwise um for the most part it seems like happy's having a hard time closing out frags uh Mostly because, like, they're doing a lot of damage individually to, like, spread out across uh, Hell's Kitchen, but they're not really getting a lot of the frags for it. Yeah, especially on the the mids that we've seen so far, especially the first mid, it seemed like Happy was getting the picks really early. It looked like they were doing really well on the mids, but weren't able to find the final frags and protect Happy Bob, and so weren't able to close out the rounds, but half will be over we're going into the second half a green text is up 3-0 for hell's kitchen we're gonna be seeing if you know happy can maybe turn this one around ambrun a bit slow to mid we'll just wait for the arrow he's not risking anything chunky as well not too fast but the soldier up top for happy already getting annihilated and the health for happy not the greatest and they also haven't taken a lot of space but as i say that both soldiers bomb from hell's kitchen they're gonna be getting a lot of aggression here but won't able won't be able to actually find much and they're just gonna have to leave trip and Pete go down and tojo very very weak almost dying as well and they're just all gonna have to leave out mid that's a mid for happy and that's what we wanted to see but as i say oh. that epsicle goes down trying to be aggressive and choke and hell's kitchen they're just trying to go in quickly they're happy chasing happy bob get a ton of damage but will not be able to find him 
The fight still going on here. It's like mid all over against Sandblast. He wants to take the exchange here. He forces Happy Bob. They're going to be running by Daffodil using his Uber. Maybe able to find oh, no. any picks here, but Happy no. Bob. Happy Bob surfing the stickies out. He'll make it. Trip jumping in. Finding a good amount of damage, but will just have to jump away. He's way too weak for that fight. And that's just an Uber exchange there. Oh, and both teams team trade right now. mid. They don't see that Pete got in there. Oh, but Pete ran away anyway. They're lucky. Yeah, Sandblast Pete. ends up dying in sewer, so Pete had to leave. Oh, I didn't notice that. 5v6 for Hell's Kitchen. Happy Boys looking to just come in. They know Ubers are even. They can take this drive. Sandblast is dead. It's 6v5 for Happy, but they're getting across points. They get a lot of space. Behind him. Oh my but, god, he gets oh, the frag. Pete. Pete hides on mid, and he's able to find the pick on a Happy Bob. But that looks so good for the boys on Happy. We're able to take mid completely for free. Didn't lose anybody, but then as I say that, Pete, I mean, he just hides and finds the pick on a happy bob, and that's crucial. Oh, here we come. Charge shot, nothing. Looks like we're gonna have a push through sewer here, and then initial push through sewer, and then probably stage run through choke. No, it's like everyone coming through sewer. Oh, oh but... Yeah, they try to go through sewer, but that's the main issue with sewer is you're in a very compact area. And as Daffodil tries to come through the door, the soldier doesn't get denied and will get a sink onto Daffodil, able to drop him. And it looks like Happy, they want to come back in the mid. They're looking for the picks. They have heals and they find one on the trip and onto Chunky, but they're also losing players right now. I mean, Hell's Kitchen, they have some good DM and aggression and they're catching people out on it. Yeah, so. Sandblast got uh, two big frags there right there at the end and was able to escape. Alright, looks like Uber advantage for Happy Bob. They will try to push into two, but Pete, he's on sniper. He wants to end that. He does not want to make sure it happens. Tries to take a shot at the soldier on top of mid, will not connect, and now Happy Boys, they know that they have a sniper. They have to take this carefully. Happy Bob has uber charged they're going to be trying to take this in they need to go soon daffodil catching up an uber actually they're taking quite a while and they're going to start heading sewer now but daffodil's already at 85 it looks like daffodil's going to get this in time and that is not good oh. for happy someone yeah epsicle gets headshot and happy goes in with the uber but they don't even know yet that daffodil has uber he's going to be walking forward they're chasing in the mid Oh, Samblast Happy goes back Bob's for the soldier already, and like, Pete, he's away. gonna get oh, almost caught in lobby, but the soldier will Toe be traded and tripped there to save him. Happy and Ambrun are gonna get away with though, so uh, this is actually fairly decent for Happy at this point. It could have been a lot worse than it was. Why yeah, Hell's they're Kitchen. actually pushing back in here? Why? Oh, probably delaying for boards. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna be trying to peek this, see if they can find any picks and delay the forwards, but so far, only able to find Trip Ch or Ambrun almost dying to the sniper is they're taking a lot of damage here. Just going back in exchanges and scrappy fights on mid, but happy they're able to retake the middle and it's even Ubers now after both teams ended up exchanging. But happy they want to keep taking this in. They're down chunky. They know this. Pete's still on sniper though, putting a lot of pressure onto Happy and no soldier able to oh, jump the yet. Soldier bomb coming in now. Toja's jumping in behind him though. Going all the way to mid. Pete finds another pick on Alexandros and now Happy. They're Ambrun's slowly kind of pressuring and fading too. away. Ambrun possibly caught in sewer. Yeah, it will go down to Sandblast and now Happy. I mean, both teams have Uber and Happy is not opting to give this up. They want to take a two man scout exchange into Choke. Daffodil gonna have the better Uber here for Hell's Kitchen, but they still have the sniper on Pete, so not a lot of firepower as they want to, but. As I say that, they're getting a lot of ground right now. Both scouts running at trip up top. He will live. Nice arrow from Daffodil will save him. And lights goes down to Chunky. This that is starting to turn more into Chunky Hell's too. Kitchen mid. Happy Bob makes it out of the fight. Has not much of an uber advantage. Both soldiers jumping in. They're looking to just take two for free here, but... Looks like Happy, they're pressuring, they're, you know, they're trying to hold back as far as they can. They know Pete's still on Sniper, and I feel like that's, he's not getting a lot of picks here, but it's definitely in the back of uh, Ailema Terror Squad's mind. They definitely are very scared to peek anything, they don't want to lose any players, but 
Yeah, I I think this still is overall working in favor of Happy. Uh, with Pete being on Sniper as much as it is, it plays a lot slower game for uh, Hell's Kitchen, which benefits uh, Happy Bob a lot. Well, Happy Bob's team a lot more. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen. I mean, after the match we saw against Velocity and everything, they like to play aggressive. They like to send their players behind, and they like to just go off the picks. But Ambroom goes down. Soldier holding open the door and sewer for Pete. He will find the pick onto the demo man, trying to go backwards, and that's a big pick for Hell's Kitchen. They're able to get two completely oh. for free off of that. Lights and goes down in lobby. We are already having a push here into last from Hell's Sandbox Kitchen. Sandbox is already on last. They're Uber exchanging. Exchange. Samblas actually taunting in the middle of the Uber as well in the door. Possibly a bit of BM, but it's no worries here. They're going to be keep walking in the lobby, probably trying to find more space for Pete to find any picks that he can. Soldier bombing in onto them will get a lot of damage, but will just have to back off. Tojo finds space onto the demo, will not be able to find the frag. And Pete, he's walking through one, gets a big shot onto the scout, won't find anything. But Hell's Kitchen, they're just dying. They're trying to walk through the far side, and they are getting no support oh, from their players. Oh, change here. Oh, Pete's just running in Pete's alone. here. Pete is alone for Hell's Kitchen. He walks through one. Nobody's oh watching God. one. Pete, will he back up on Sniper? Yes, he no. Will. This is so... Oh, Hell's Kitchen. They go completely through lobby, all one of them, and Pete able to back up on Sniper through the one door. That is not what you want to see if you are rooting for the happy. The side of Ayla Mao That was club. like the fourth or fifth time Pete has just like got completely behind Happy with absolutely no one on the other team knowing about it. Yeah, I feel like Happy uh, definitely trying to move more as a squadron here so that they can make sure that Happy Bob will die less. But I mean, the risk of that is that you aren't clearly or clearing everything when you're pushing out. And that's what happens. Pete gets a back cap on Sandblast Sniper. Going Pyramid. into the next mid, Sandblast on Pyro. And he's going to be able to deny everybody who bombed onto Daffodil. He finds three picks immediately. And this is not looking good for Happy. 4-0 and Amber going down. Happy Bob able to live, but there's a lot of picks. And Hell's Kitchen already is on to two. Sandblast Happy Bob needs a savior for this last. Alec already building a gun. Definitely is his main class on last so far. He's been on NG every single one. They're taking an exchange with the Pyro. Will force out Happy Bob. Won't really find much else. He will find the gun actually. Able to sit in their spawn. And Happy, they're trying to ignore Sandblast. They're just leaving him to get a pick. And he actually wins the 1v1 against Ebsicle. And that's just going to be a Hell's Kitchen round. They go in and everybody forgetting about Sandblast will find a lot of damage. And with the flames connecting onto the players of Hell's uh, Happy... Uh, the heal is not able to be given out as fast as they possibly could, so Happy slowly going down in the middle of the DM, and Hell's Kitchen will win this one a convincing 5-0. Yep, uh, it's a little bit more convincing than I was expecting, but um, there's a few bright spots on that, though, for uh, Happy's team. There's a few times where, like, that very first mid, they looked really strong, Um and there was actually, I think the fourth mid even was also a pretty strong one for Happy, as well as like quite a few other exchanges, especially on their own last point. They played all that pretty well, and I believe they can really start to build off of those kind of things if they look closer to what they did right in those situations. And then just kind of doing that more often rather than trying to find some of the things they did wrong. Yeah, although it is a 5 0 for Hell's Kitchen, Happy definitely could learn quite a bit from this. I mean, just from casting and watching this match, I mean, Happy, they definitely had some good mids and were doing well in team fights. It's just they're losing players after they get the picks that they need. They're not protecting Happy Bob when necessary. And maybe a bit of a bit of experience they're showing in their positioning in DM, but definitely something that Happy could review over, learn from, and possibly bounce back for the next remainder of the season. Uh, as I mean, although it was a convincing 5-0, definitely had some chances for Happy to take a round here or there. All right, uh, let's take a look at some of the stats here. I'm sure they're up by now. Um, I'm sure they're not going to tell us too much of a difference here, but let's see here. Yeah, I'm I'm holding up the stats. Four more Ubers for Daffodil than Happy Bob definitely can make a bit of a difference in the game. 
Yeah, and looking at the damage, though, uh, between the two teams, like I said, it, that's actually pretty close, especially when you consider how often the like two teams were you know, trading frags because uh, Happy Team is only like 2,500 damage behind Hell's Kitchen, which in the grand scheme of ga- things where, I mean, we're talking 25,000 plus damage for both teams, that's not that much. But the difference of frags, though, 85 to 55, that is... And happy the happy team can really take away from this that they actually do have the potential to really start to pick up some more rounds against a lot of other uh, even mid invite teams. Yeah, and I'm seeing a key factor here that you brought up in the middle of game where you were saying that a lot of times in the fights they're getting the damage out but not finding the frags like they're all doing individually well on damage but they're not helping each other find frags and you can see it in the stats where the damage is very close but hell's kitchen having 85 frags overall in that game and ayla mao only finding 55 so definitely pulling out the damage around but nobody really supporting each other finding the kills in the team fights and that's definitely something that will change the game around quite heavily But beyond that, it looks like this was a really big game for Sandblast. 316 DPM. The next person in the server closest to him was Chunky at 261. Yeah, Sandblast definitely doing a lot of work in those Uber exchanges. Definitely good job to him. Able to find 25 frags as well. Top fragging in the server. Playing Pocket Scout how he should be. Daffodil didn't die too many times. Died half of what happy bob did so definitely well done by the combo on hell's kitchen as for that match though i think we are done here that will be all but don't stop yet there is more tf2 to watch uh there's still ascent versus meat market on tftv1 that you guys should definitely be checking out that one definitely gonna be a close match i'm interested i'm gonna go watch it i know you guys want to go watch it and so That's definitely definitely where we should head to, as that's going to be some great TF2. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to see you guys again, and uh, have a great day. One quick shout-out for Looster for fixing the uh, STV midstream and basically seamless, from what I could tell. Shout-out to Looster. Also, I'm going to have to give another shout out real quick to Console for always being able to step up and organize this all for TFTV. Definitely something that we need, but it's been fun. And uh, hope everyone had a good time. Let's all go watch Ascent vs. Meat Market. Actually, 2-2 two, two right now, very close. All right, yeah, let's go watch that. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go take a look at that. Have a good night, everyone.